What's up guys? I hope you're all having a great day. Welcome back to my channel. This of course is another episode of trying not to get cancelled by book twitter by copying Danny Gonzalez for an entire video. Today I'm going to be talking about the epidemic that's been going around booktube for a couple years now and that is readathons. You have your standard readathons, the Reading Rush, formerly known as Booktubeathon, the biannual Bibliothon, rest in peace, and Dewey's 24 hour readathon, and we all know how booktubers feel about 24 hour readathons. So, these 24 hour reading things are like really popular on the internet right now. And I'm not really a vlogger, but I mean, the more of them that I watch, the more I get mad because nobody takes this seriously. I want 24 hours straight of reading. That's what you said in the label, and that's what I'm here for. And like, I see these people just like taking breaks for tea and going to the store and like just doing all sorts of shit that's not reading. I actually host two readathons, Readorama, which I've been hosting for a couple years now, and I just started a new readathon in October with my friend Becca from Becca with a Book, Slapshot Readathon, which is a hockey themed readathon. So I don't hate readathons, and this video isn't me hating on readathons. I just want to talk about how there are too many readathons. Really, have you ever hosted a readathon because it's super stressful when you're trying to host a readathon during the week that there's busy things going on for work or school or just things are happening in your life. It is so stressful. So now I've been on booktube since 2014. I'm basically a boomer. I'm a booktube boomer. <laughs> So I've realized over the last two years, there is a readathon for everything. Yes, everything. There was even a readathon called Your Cancelled Readathon, and guess what? It got cancelled! Cancelled readathon <laughs> was cancelled. A few days ago, it was announced that there was going to be a readathon called the Your Cancelled Readathon. Basically, it was a readathon that the idea behind it was to take the negative aspects of cancel culture, try to flip them on their head, and try to make it a more uh, positive thing out of cancel culture. I thought this was kind of funny. I thought it was a satirical look at cancel culture, which I personally uh, felt at the time was one of the more toxic aspects of uh, the book community, specifically book Twitter. And so I thought it was funny. Readathons aren't super my thing, so I wasn't sure if I was going to participate in it. Uh, but I certainly thought it was funny, and I certainly uh, thought it was a great idea. So I was very disappointed a few days later to find out that the readathon had been cancelled. Booktober Kaz from Little Book Owl, she has a readathon calendar where if you have a readathon coming up and you want more people to know about it, you can go over to her website and fill out a Google form and just log in all the information like the Twitter account, the dates, and other things like that so she can put it into a calendar and put it on Twitter and people can be aware of your readathon. So I went over to her website just to see how many readathons there are. And in October alone of 2019, this year, there were 47. 47! 47 readathons! 47 readathons. So I don't hate readathons. Hosting them myself, I know how much work it takes. However, I do think that there are just way too many options for readathons. Like 47 readathons? That's a little bit much. Uh. And I just don't understand why people don't just seek out other readathons that are going on because when I was on booktube back in the day there were just like not a lot and now I just feel like there's too many. I get if you just like get an idea and there's something that you never saw before like I don't see any hockey readathons so I'm like hey I'm gonna make one because that's my brand and my friend also likes hockey so let's do it but if there's already ones going on, you could collab with other people, like, I don't know. 47 is just a lot for me. So, I propose the question to you. Do you think that there are too many readathons or not? Um, do you participate in readathons? Do you not? Let me know your thoughts on readathons down below in the comments. So I'm actually going to shout out some readathons that are happening in December that I think you should check out. First being the first week of December is the Queer Lit Bingo. Everything will be linked down below. Queer Lit Bingo, I actually have a reading vlog on it that I did and I love this readathon. It's just all about reading Queer Lit and I highly recommend for you to go check it out. There's also Oh What Fun-a-thon. Um, that's really fun. 
Uh, I didn't. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. There's also a What Fun-a-thon, and that is hosted by Mackenzie Lane. And then we have a very merry readathon, and that is hosted by Hannah at Tiny Book Dragon and a bunch of other booktubers. So all those links will be down below. And those are just some readathons that are happening that you can participate in if you are a readathon person. All right, guys, that's it for this video. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe and turn on my notifications to join the paperback pals. We're the slowest growing army on YouTube. Don't look that up because it is true. I'll see you guys next time with another interesting video on book explosion conspiracy theories. Bye. This video is over now. Yeah. Over now. Go find something else to watch or just watch this video. I know we had a lot